Dylan, I'm just curious if you've had a chance to process everything that you just witnessed last night and I guess over, over the past week. Uh, yeah, I mean, just um, super cool, uh, pretty cool moment to see, um, you know, all, all the fans there and all their support. I, um, I said yesterday, I mean, the guy who uh, I gave my jersey to, I had been a season ticket holder since uh, 1997. Uh, like 27 years so uh, that's before I was born so I think that that's pretty cool and uh, nice to nice to see that uh, kind of passion and emotion. What is sort of the outlook for you guys now? How are you processing this moving forward? Um, processing uh, what just, exactly? Just all the uncertainty and yeah, what's coming next. And I think that uh, I mean I personally I've kind of had a lot of that throughout um, my young career so <laughs> just um, yeah, what one day at a time, and just kind of control uh, what you can. Eighteen goals since your call up. Uh, did you expect yeah. that kind of success? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't really look at like the end goal when I when I first come, when I first came. I, you know, I they told me it wouldn't be too long. I mean, I I obviously knew I'd have to prove it, but uh, yeah, I mean, I thought I did a, a pretty good job um, of scoring. I mean, it's not like I had eighteen goals and. 18 chances too. I felt like I had a lot of looks kind of all year, so um, you know, was able to develop uh, good chemistry with a lot of the guys in the team, so that helped. Dylan, if, if you don't, uh, if you don't know yet or can't talk about, it, I understand. But mm -hmm. what is your plan? Are you planning on going to Tucson for the playoffs, or do you have a, a, a plan for the coming months? Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, Tucson okay. for the playoffs, so that's uh, that. That's the plan, and uh, go down there and try to win a, a championship. You were obviously a huge part of that team, an AHL All-Star. Yeah. What has that group meant to you, and, and what are you looking forward to for this playoff run? Yeah, it's special. Um, uh, I mean, there's it's a good team down there, and whenever you have the chance to uh, to compete and uh, for a championship, I mean, it, it's exciting. So I uh, obviously keep in touch with a lot of the guys, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to go on there and uh, get, get into work. I mean, it's going to be a grind. It, it's going to be tough, and uh, I, I know that. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks. From a pure hockey standpoint, is there a lot to be excited about with this group, just the young talent that you have and the growth that's still to come? Yeah, I, for sure. I think um, obviously a really young team uh, full of young leaders. I think uh, even like the older guys are still pretty young and, you know, they were kind of in the same shoes as, uh, as, I, as I'm in and, you know, and numerous of other guys. So. I think it's pretty cool to have that, have those guys to lean on, and uh, looking forward to it, yeah. Dylan, when you were on the ice last night, saluting the crowd, seeing everybody giving a standing ovation, what was going through your mind in that moment? Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's just really special and uh, kind of cool to see all that support. I mean, there's not very many times in uh, hockey where you kind of you know look around and uh, really remember what, what that feels like in that moment, but I think that's something that I won't forget. Dylan, what have you learned about yourself since being called up in January? What sort of lessons have you learned through this whole season, being in the NHL, AHL and then moving up to the NHL? Yeah, I think just um, not being complacent. I think just always kind of working towards something and, uh, you know, playing in the American League. I mean, that builds that hunger and that drive to uh, get back up to the NHL. So I think that, uh, you know, that mindset and attitude of uh, just trying to get better and doing whatever I can to get back up, help me. All right, thanks, Dylan.